Nutrition sells newspapers, it sells magazines, and I think a lot of people want a quick fix. The information the public's getting is not necessarily correct. So what you hear in the media is based on very little, and so, you know, um, going to the actual scientific papers and doing your own research has been, that's been interesting. There's, there's very few master's courses that lead you to become an associate nutritionist. This is one of them. It's really applied ethics and counselling skills and all those sort of things that you don't realise are involved. It's a great course because of that. Um, this is something for everyone. Some people say, yeah, I can't wait to see the physical activity and health, whereas I'm probably more interested in maybe the global nutrition. Or, you know, there's, it's very broad. And we try to get as much hands-on lab experience uh, and practical experience as possible. For example, we have three different indirect calorimeters, so you can use them to measure what's known as resting metabolic rate. We can also use it to measure what's called diet-induced thermogenesis, so the amount that a food causes uh, an increased energy expenditure after it's eaten. We also have equipment to measure body composition, so we have a bod pod. It will measure the air displacement using the difference in pressure and that will give us the volume of the subject. The density is equal to the weight of the person divided by uh, the volume. The facilities are amazing here. You know, it's just a nice place to work. The library's great. So our graduates go on to do uh, a whole variety of different things. So some will go on to the food industry. Some of our graduates will go on to study dietetics. Uh, some students have gone into global organisations like the World Health Organisation. Others have gone into places like BUPA, the health insurance. We strongly encourage overseas applicants uh, onto the course. We always get a good few every year. Uh, we also get uh, all different age groups um, and it really adds to the classroom having that, those different opinions, different experiences. Every semester as well, our PhD students run a research seminar series. So they invite guest speakers to come in uh, at lunchtime uh, once a fortnight. And these would be speakers who are at the top of their field in terms of their research. So we try to get them involved in as much as possible and to uh, get as much experience as possible when they're here to graduate and go into public health and to be able to give these health messages out. Thank you.